up, man, players? Man, it's all 24-7 here, breaking down my offensive possessions. This is a 50K wager. This guy played me very, very tough. It was a very, very tough game on offense and defense. And I'm going to just showcase the good and the bad. So I come out running verticals, and I like to just fade Y against zone and leave him on his original route against man. Now, right there, I put Y on a fade. And against a cover two, that outside angle route opens up very frequently. And it's pretty much an easy read. So it gets zone, I fade Y, and I slant A. And it gets man, I leave Y on his original route, and I slant A. Now there I had no one open, but I playmaker my running back by holding down left trigger and moving a right analog stick up so that he would go upfield. And that moves your closest wide receiver, tight end, or running back in whatever direction you move the right analog stick in. So it's first and goal from the three yard line, and this is where things start to go downhill. I call the fullback dive, I get a yard. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna run no huddle again, and just waltz in this end zone. I flip the play, and he gets stuck. So that's not good at all. But I still think the fullback dive leaves some room. So I go to goal line and I just go to fullback dive. And this is probably what I should have did from the start. But it's easy looking back and said, oh, that ain't work, do that. So third and goal, I run fullback dive. I get about two and a half to three yards, but Madden only gives me one yard. So now this sets up this very, very tough fourth and goal from the two. It's too far to do a quarterback sneak. If I do a toss, his outside linebackers are waiting for me on the edge. As I come out, you're going to see his outside linebackers waiting for me on the edge. I just tried three straight fullback dives. So I audible the power O, and it gets blown up. This is just an awful play call. I don't know why I audible the power O. I just did. And that's not going to get it done. So right here, I know it's man to man. I lead Y on his original route, and I slant A. And it's just a quick one-two read between A and B. Very, very quick one-two read. That crossing route that B's on. Beast man coverage also. So we got a gun tight offset tight end. One of my favorite formations in the game. I put in a fullback as my slot wide receiver. And I put in Dunterry Poe as my tight end. And we're just gonna run inside zone. It's a very, very effective run. And I think it's a much better way to attack the defense in the red zone than just coming out and doing fullback dives. At least you have the threat of you might pass the ball. So we get two yards. I loved what I saw right there. So I just ran no huddle. I quickly flipped the play by pressing X or square on PlayStation and just doing flip play. So that's right trigger or R2 on PlayStation. Same defense that locked us up earlier. So I'm saying he likes to run a cover two, same thing. I fade wide and that outside angle route opens up. We dance along the sideline and we go in for an easy 80 yard touchdown. Now it's the third quarter, 14-14. This is where he reaches in his bag of tricks and he sends a nano blitz. I get sacked as soon as I drop back. To try to stop nano blitzes, I slide protect to the right. If needed, I max protect. So right here, I max protect, I slide protect to the right. No one gets in. I try to take a free shot downfield and I get hit as I'm thrown. So same thing, I come out and pistol bunch tight end verticals. And I know he's trying to blitz me. So as I said, I like slide protecting to the right. Just left trigger and slide protect to the right. I block everybody, including my running back and tight end. And I have B open. I have Y who has a step. And I can also take off. And what I try to do, I chuck the ball deep to Y and I threw an interception. And that's just horrible. I had so many different things I could have done. I could have scrambled for about 20 yards, threw it to B for a potential touchdown. But instead, I throw an interception. So that's bad. I mean, obviously that's bad, you know, interceptions aren't good. So I'm I'm throwing picks, I'm not getting anything going, so I just run the ball, as I said, tight offset, tight end, very, very effective running formation, mixing a quarterback sneak to get the short yardage and just keep feeding the ball to Walter Payton. 
and now we're right back to where we just were. Second down and two. This time I come out and goal line fullback dive versus twins flex fullback dive. And you see the difference in the goal line fullback dive. I'm getting three yards. I have on shoot clock. And I'm not thinking, I'm not thinking about a field goal. So I rushed to the line. I flipped the play so fast the game glitched out. And I just flipped the play as I walked to the line. And that happened to be the, the, the touchdown we needed. I mean, that was what we needed. You got the ball game, got the win. So I'm going to try to break down the other side on defense. This guy gave me a headache on defense. Hope this little breakdown helps. I'm going to start breaking down a lot of these wager games. I've been playing a lot of good wagers. So try to break down these mutt wager games. Try to help people out. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out. I'm going to try to post more games.